question. Now then, what gardening jobs did you manage to complete in 2018? Did you get round to pulling out the bamboo that James Wong recommended <laughs> you plant a few years ago? <laughs> did you finally get round to repotting the agapanthus? Or perhaps you dug a pond or established a hedge? Good for you. Give yourself a pat on the back. But I'm sorry to say that none of those achievements are quite as impressive as what 26-year-old Ross Lee managed in his Suffolk plot last year. From scratch, Ross, who had zero previous gardening experience before he began his horticultural task, created a show-stopping gardening oasis fit for Chelsea, all by watching online videos. Well, Bob Flowerdew visited Ross to see for himself how he did it and to find out how you can do it too. Well, I've come from Norfolk across the border into Suffolk. It's a new build house in a new close, small front garden, which is stuffed full of plants, including an olive. That's a bit brave, but lots of plants. Oh, goodness, lots of lavenders. A eucalyptus, that's going to get a bit big, but wow, what a fascinating collection. Right, well, let's see. Ring the doorbell. Oh. Hello, you must be Ross. Yeah. Hi, I'm Bob Flardy. Hi, mate. You're Can right. I come in? It's freezing yeah, out here. Yeah, come on, get in. <laughs> Wow, your living room's just like mine. Absolutely full of houseplants. How did you first get into gardening? I think it started when I went on holiday. I came back and I planted something. I, well, I think it was a rose from um, the pound shop in the little boxes. Mm -hmm. And now it's at the bottom of the garden. It's probably about 12 foot tall. And it is such a nice display. I just thought, oh, wow, I've got such a good feeling from watching this thing grow. And mm -hmm. it just went on from there, really. I didn't even know anything about plants before, like, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. In the middle of my garden, I've got a square bit of lawn, and I thought, what can I do here? So I wanted to sort of, like, surround myself with plants and, like, be in, like, a plant room almost, like, mm -hmm. with plants all around me. It just all went from there, really. And then, apparently, other people have taken an interest in it. Yeah, I've opened with the National Garden Scheme last mm -hmm. year, uh, doing that again this year, and I met so many people, it kind of just, like, blew up. It was amazing. Well, it's lovely. I can see bits of it through the glass. It's cold out there, but let's go and have a look at what you've got. OK. Come on. Oh, it's, it's parky. It's snow on the ground and ice. And it's quite a small garden. It's uh, fenced on both sides. It's, what, about 30, 40 foot long and about 15, 20 foot wide. Um, there's a shed in it, um, paths, and it's... In the middle of winter, it's still full of greenery. As I just spotted another tree fern, there's several palms, there's a ornamental grasses, there's a mugu pine here, isn't it? Yes, uh, another rare thing you don't see too often. It's a massive colour, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it really comes to life in summer. Yeah. It's um, really amazing. You have, a, you have a lot of things in pots and containers as well, don't you? Yeah, I do. I like to um, make my borders seem bigger. I'll try to, like, curve the edges of the borders with, without actually having borders. But having do it with hanging over, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, quite right. What training have you done? I gather you, you watch YouTube videos. Yeah, I watch YouTube videos, and every plant I'd get, I'd sort of, like, Google it and watch a video on it and look on the RHS website. Yeah, yeah I just take my hat off to you, because the number of questions we get on the panel from people who obviously didn't read the instructions on the label, and you're doing it properly, you're researching before you yeah. put each one in. That is real gardening. Yeah. What else do you want to do with... I mean, at the moment, you're, you're doing this for yourself. Do yeah. you want to expand more? Other than the um, National Garden Scheme, I also want to open it for people with serious illness who can come down mm -hmm. and just sort of, like, spend time in the garden and relax in the summer. Mm -hmm. I used to feel a bit withdrawn and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and then since gardening, I've met so many people, and they've really come out of my shell, and it's just... It's, they're so lovely, everyone is. That's wonderful. That's wonderful to hear. Anyway, do you know lemon verbena? Lipia yeah. trifila? Do you know it? OK, well, I've brought some. Now, it's winter. It dies back down to the ground. I've got it in a polytunnel, but I've got a plastic bag. And this grows quite tall, but it's also a house plant. But smell that. Oh, that's lovely. It smells like, like lemon sherbet. It is lemon sherbet. It's the best lemon-smelling plant oh, of all. That's amazing. And they say that one leaf put into your, your wallet or your diary will still have its smell 40 years from now. Wow. Which uh, is a wonderful thing. Yeah. But uh, you should look for this and, and grow that because I think that's one of the most wonderful plants. And I wanted to encourage you with something else, so I brought you another plant. Or rather, I brought you these. This, oh, wow. this is Xanthocerus sorbifolia. Oh. And uh, it has a weird pod. 
that opens and produces these black seeds, which I'm giving you. Oh, wow. And it's called the yellow horn in China. They eat the flowers, they eat the leaves, and these seeds, not the skin, but the seeds that once cooked are edible as well. Oh, wow. uh, but it has these beautiful flowers, like a horse chestnut, but along the stems. Yes. But there's some of those in the, there for you to have as well, oh, because lovely. I thought you might like, to, might, might like to try those. That's very kind. Thank um, you. Oh, it smells lovely. Thank you. Yeah. And can I show off something there? Yeah. You see, you're 26, yes? Yeah. When I was 28, I fell in love with Autoniques. They're a hybrid between a mandarin and an orange. They come from Jamaica. Lovely wow. flavour. Anyway, they say it's not worth sowing citrus. I sowed the seeds. 21 years later, it flowered. Wow. 24 years later, I started getting the fruits. <laughs> so, plan now for when you're 50. Sow things that take a long time because, you know, they grow even while you're asleep. <laughs> yeah, cool. Makes you sick, doesn't it? <laughs> 30 years of accumulated knowledge, 10 years as a GQT panellist, books, Chelsea Gardens. Pointless, isn't it, Christine? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely flipping pointless. James, let's get your coat, we're off, come on. <laughs> Shut up and let me do the back end. <laughs> <laughs> Bob flowered you with new gardener Ross Lee. By the sound of it, Ross might have a career on the GQT panel in a few years' time himself. <laughs> Just think of that while you're getting your coat. <laughs> Anyhow, back to the questions. Who's next? Maggie Bowen, chairman of the Leicestershire and Rutland branch of the Garden Museum. When and how should I prune the four quince trees?